Hi guys! Good afternoon! Or naimbag uh, malem? Maya pagkat panapon? O oh, yan, yeah. different language uh, and dialects. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Or baka morning nyo mapanood. Good morning! And welcome sa part 2 ng ating vlog about Palanopsi! Tara guys, let's explore the garden. So, bali nung last na ano natin about palanopsis, napag-usapan natin yung mga basic, yung mga sakraw, kung ano yung mga parts niya. Ngayon, guys, we have to discuss about watering and at the same time checking kung kailan siya iwa-water. At check din natin kung ano yung parang difference nung ugat at the same time yung spike. Kasi yung isang palanopsis ko, may lumalabas na na pa! spike It, uh, hopefully ma-distinguish natin okay let's go okay guys nandito tayo ulit sa loob ng aking greenhouse at right now oh, tingnan natin oh. Oh, dati nung binidyo natin itong nag, uh, isang palanopsis ko wala pa tong ano so I thought baka mamulaklak na siya pero nasa resting period pa rin siya and he needs to grow pa rin kaya Ito muna siguro ang ano niya. Tsaka as you can notice, you will notice, uh, it has lots of aerial roots na, na lumalabas. This means na nagre-ready siya uh, for another blooming state siguro. Yan. And uh, idagdag ko, rin, ko lang, uh, inisprayan natin to siya ng orgamin uh, para tawag dito, mag-develop siya ng ano, root or magkaroon siya ng root formation. Yan. Ngayon, ang didiscuss natin is kailan siya pwedeng diligan. Uh, as, as you can see, may purpose kung bakit transparent ang kanyang pot. Uh, the transparency of the pot uh, will help us indicate kung kailan siya uh, wet at the same time kung may problema na sa kanyang mga ugat. If it has a problem in uh, mga roots niya inside so yan hello again uh, Bali, let me just take note na this palanopsis needs to be repotted na, but I am hoping na it will rebloom uh, in this month, so I'm still waiting, as you can see yung moss niya medyo, medyo hindi na gaano okay, medyo dark na pero still, pwede pa rin naman yan and here, how can you tell if the roots are okay? Well, as you can see, green pa ang mga roots niya. Yeah. Close up lang natin. This means that uh, yung roots niya are okay and uh, thriving sa loob. However, as you can note, uh, you will notice parang may mga parang uh, other green na yung mga moss ano niya parang. So, there's a need for us to change this. Now, kailan siya pwedeng diligan? How can you tell? About today, diniligan mo siya. Tapos, ikaw eager ka na naman diligan siya. Pero syempre, you're afraid that your palanopsis, uh, palanopsis roots will be rotten. So, you gotta check. All you have to do is dip your finger sa moss. If you can, uh, if you can feel na still wet, you don't need to water it. But there are exception there. If your weather in your place is uh, parang medyo mainit or uh, uh, hindi naman talaga umuulan or laging ang sun is nasa, ang tawag dito, mainit lagi, uh, feel free to to water your plant kasi syempre kailangan pa rin yan ng hydration. Pero if you can check na talagang ah, wet pa siya, there's no need to ano, to water it daily. If you feel na dry na dry na siya, then that's the time na kailangan mo na siyang delikan. Yon. Tapos, uh, next time uh, we will check kung paano siya iripat. Madali lang naman siyang iripat actually. Yon. Tapos, tingnan natin kung anong difference ng 
uh, spikes tsaka roots para ma-determine natin kung kailan siya mamumulaklak. Yan. Tingnan natin to guys. Makikita mo, silvery, tapos yung sa harap uh, unahan niya is para siyang uh, patulis na kung minsan green, kung minsan maroon. So, this is ang um, shoot na to is a uh, root. And usually, sa side sila lumalabas. Ayan, check nyo. Roots, roots, roots. Then, yung mga spikes nila is ay hindi pala, sa front, sorry, sorry, sa front sila lumalabas. Ayan ang mga spikes naman nila na mamumu pag sa bulaklak is dito sa side. Ayan. And the other ones there. Yun. Tapos check natin yung isa. Ito naman yung isang palanopsis ko. Uh, palanopsis Aphrodite. Yan. Ito rin, no? same din. No? Uh, grayish yung color nung uh, lumalabas na roots. And at the same time, meron siyang somewhat na tawag dito. Somewhat maroon na color. Kasi check din natin dito siya. Meron pa siyang isang roots ulit. There. Yan. At the back. So, somewhat, ang mga pag, uh, roots na lumalabas are sa harap at likod. Pero pag spike, papakita ko sa yung isa. Isip ko na spike. Yan. Greenish in color siya. So, we're hoping that this will be the spike that will uh, we all been waiting for. So, sana. Yan. Again, look at my pot. This is not the regular pot that you uh, that are available, that is available in the market. Pero, ito po is a microwavable container. Yan. But, I saw the potential that it can be used for the orchids because it is transparent so uh, nakikita ko kung there's a problem with my palanopsis uh, there as you can see the roots are yan, okay yan, it has no insect inside so yun, yun yung benefit ng transparent pot pero I still recommend you you buy this one yan, kasi malambot siya. this will not last uh long kasi nga although it is microwavable so it, it is heat tolerant but still syempre it is for food pero syempre if you're if you don't have the budget and you have this one uh, all you need to do is uh, put some holes drainage drainage holes yeah. so ba yeah. so that's it guys uh, wrapped up lang natin tong ano natin important ang crown Important ang stem, uh, parang virtual stem at the same time, important ang mga roots. Sa roots, dalawang roots natin, aerial roots at the same time yung sa, sa ilalim to anchor itself and for water. And syempre, pag dinidinigan natin ito, usually ang ina-advise ng mga expert is twice a week. Or uh, if the condition per, uh, permits na kailangan talagang diligan siya, mainit. Daily. Daily siya dinilag. Pero how to check it? Check mo sa kanyang eh, yung daliri. And see if it's still wet. You don't need to water it. But if it's not wet, you need to water it. Yan. Makikita mo kung healthy ang mga ano niya, mga dahon niya. If they are erected na ganito. Yan. And sturdy. This one is, uh, since it is this is the first uh, leaf, medyo ganyan na siya. Sloppy. And it has already bloomed twice. Yun guys. Hopefully sana may natutunan kayo kahit pa paano. Uh, all my blogs are based on my personal experience and at the same time, nagre-research din tayo para makatulong din sa mga taong ano. Next time, try natin i-repat ito. Iba vlog natin. Okay? Thank you guys. Subscribe naman tayo. At the same time, like the video so that uh, you can show some support 
sa ginagawa natin. Thank you and goodbye.